Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. We will discuss how to evaluate sum of finite series in this particular video. This is also part of an explanation for one of my subscribers. The question here is to evaluate 3i minus 10, where i is from 0 to 29. Now, the starting point of i could be anything. It could be negative, 0, even some positive bigger number. In one of my videos, I have discussed what happens when i is, like, say, 10, right? Now, here, what happens when i becomes 0? That is what we look into. It basically has two components in it. Let's look into these two components. The sum of the series, the sigma sign means sum, right, of i equals to from 0 to 29. We have two terms. One is 3 times i and the other term is minus 10. So I've written minus outside and then the other term is from 0 to 29, 10. Now as far as this term is concerned, there are how many terms which are 10? That is one thing which you need to figure out. Some of you might think it is 29. That may be a mistake, right? Here again, if I write 0 to 29, sometimes it creates a confusion. So what I will do here is basically uh, take the 0th term separately, right? So, so that that confusion is not there. So I'll rewrite my question as it is from i equals to, let me write 1 to 29 as it is a standard thing of uh, 3i minus 10 plus. What happens when i is 0? If i is 0 in this term, then it becomes 3 times 0 minus 10. So it becomes 3 times 0 minus 10. Is that clear? 3 times 0 is 0, but there is an additional minus 10 here. Perfect. So that additional minus 10 may change your answer. That's what I'm trying to say. So basically, what you really notice here is that when i equals to 0, 3i is 0, right? 3i is 0. So I could write the first term, or you may think like this either way. So what we have here basically is that we have some 3 I could write is a constant outside. i is what is changing its value from 1 to 29. Since when i is 0, the value of 3i is 0. Right? Then I will take away i equals to 1 to 29. So they become 29 tenths. And here is your 30th ten. Do you see that part? So when you think in this fashion, it becomes uh, much simpler, right? I suppose, right? Now you know what is sum of uh, natural numbers. The formula for sum of natural numbers is known to you. Let me rewrite the formula here. So we know that sum of natural numbers when i equals to 1 to n for i is given as n times n plus 1 over 2, right? So we are going to use this particular formula here for i, correct? So what you get from here is, let me keep this separate. We could write now 3 times. Now this sum, n is 29 for us. So it becomes 29 times 29 plus 1 divided by 2, right? Minus. How many tens are there? These are 29 tens. 1 to 29, correct? times 10, minus 10. Do you see that? So that is how we kind of get our answer. So this is 30. So we can divide this and we can calculate. So we get 2 times 29 times 15 minus 29 times 10 minus 10. Is it clear? Now you can use your calculator and evaluate the answer. Right? So we get 3 times 29 
times 15 minus 290 and minus 10 and that gives you your answer as 1005 perfect so that is how you're going to solve this so I hope that helps feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best